morning from Hollywood Studios. It's about a quarter to seven, and we're waiting to get our boarding pass for Star Wars Galaxy Edge Rise of the Resistance. Wish us luck. It's crowded today. There's so many people here already. We got it. We Thanks got to me. It. Yes. We are group 57. Three people in our party. Oh yeah. Oh, that was the most stressful thing that I ever did in my life. I'm I'm shaking so hard right now. <laughs> We're shaking. <laughs> also, we got to Hollywood Studios at 5:55 a.m. and somebody forgot their magic band. But we did it. May the force be with us. There we are. In my shaking hands. Her shaking hands. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Here we are in Galaxy's Edge. So cute. Waiting online for Millennium Falcon since we got here. Apparently that's where every single person's going. I don't know why I'm deciding to go now too, but it's the most important thing we wanted to see today. So we just want to make sure we do it. It's very... Very cool in here. Look at this. This is amazing. Love it. Waiting online for Millennium Falcon, and they have a little bar area area where you can get drinks. And look at these little cups that they come in, or bottles that they come in. So cool. <laughs> Madison is a gunner and I'm an engineer. Look at how cool Emily is also an engineer. <laughs> and look at how cool this is in here. Little seating area. We're waiting to board Millennium Falcon. Here we go. Faster, Press buttons that are flashing. Pilot, push the flashing button. Push the flashing off. button. Pilot on the left. Move your stick to fly right and left. I was just about to say that. Pilot on the right. Pull back Whoa. on the stick to fly out. And push forward to fly down. <laughs> See, this happens sometimes when you travel through uncharted regions of the galaxy as much as I do. It is not to Usual to find a stray species or two clinging to the heart. <laughs> Nothing, but keep looking. The last thing I want is to let another uh, Ratha loose in here. I am not cleaning that up. Did you hear that? Oh, looks like we are ready to unload. All right, crew, make sure all your packs. That was really cool. Before the Wookiee sees it. You like that, Madison? That was so much fun. I didn't even get it. No, I didn't at all. And you were a good gunner, Madison. Good job. So we just got off of the Millennium Falcon. It was so cool. Madison did a great job. I usually get motion sickness, but this time I didn't. No, it was a lot of fun. And we got our boarding pass, so we're just exploring Galaxy's Edge. It's really amazing here. I love it. They did a great job. All right, so we're gonna walk around and check out this place. <laughs> the sound effects are so cool. All right, let's check it out. Here's where they make the blue milk. See all like the glass balls where they're making the blue and green milk? Neat. So I went to the Droid Depot and we got one of these. It's a $100 gift card, but you can use it anywhere in Disney and it's a souvenir, so you can hold on to it too. Star Wars bow or you can... Do you need help? So we just saw 
chewy. That was exciting. He grabbed this little boy by his hand and just walked away with him. I don't know where they were going, but <laughs> he was really cute. Now we're headed into Oga's Cantina. And here is the drink menu. The menu is really cool. Travelers, if you Here's the breakfast drink, menu. that we were able to start boarding. Our boarding pass was 57, so that wasn't too bad. We got it at seven in the morning, and it's 11.15, and we're headed to get on the Rise of the Resistance. So, pretty smooth this morning. We're getting a lot done really quick. This is very cool. Very Pandora-like, going through this queue. So that was 
amazing. No baby. Was it amazing, Madison? Yes. <laughs> that was so good. Worth all, worth everything. It was worth it all. Definitely one of the best experiences Disney has ever ever done. Taking our second Skyliner trip back to Caribbean Beach. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Hollywood Studios. So we are headed back to Caribbean Beach for some lunch. Rise of the Resistance was amazing. A couple of tips. Tip number one, arrive early with your magic band. <laughs> oh wait, make sure that you have your magic band on you. Tip number two, I, you, have, you have something to I say? Know. Make sure that you know that there's when the drop is going to be because it will be surprising. Oh, there is a little drop on Rise of the Resistance. Was not prepared. <laughs> I was not prepared for the drop on Rise of the Resistance. I had another tip. I can't remember what it was. Stop talking. Right, another tip is once you're in the park, you're golden. So it doesn't matter if you're there at 6.30 or a quarter to seven, as long as you're in there at seven o'clock, you're good. Make sure you have multiple people trying to access the app though, because I wasn't able to connect, but Emily was able to connect, so that was really helpful. And we went straight to Millennium Falcon. Probably not necessary. You probably would have later lines later in the day, but we just wanted- I don't wanted know about that. Now? Because right now it's like a 90 minute wait and we waited about 45 minutes. Really? Yeah, we waited about an hour. I know I heard if you go later in the day it might be later but anyway we just wanted to do it because it was a priority so it wasn't too bad I think we waited like an hour to do it so really amazing definitely I'm excited to come back again another time and have the rest of my family experience it because it was really cool all right we're gonna get some lunch and then we're gonna head back to Hollywood Studios Bye. There's a Joffrey's coffee stand right outside of the Skyliner. They have a drink for the Skyliner. Oh, it had, they have a Skyliner drink, the Toffee Flight. That looks so good. That's neat. So we're back at Caribbean Beach, but I remembered something I wanted to talk to you guys about. Uga's Cantina. It's very expensive. There's not much to choose from as in regards to food, and the food is not good at all. So <laughs> just be prepared. I had a cinnamon roll and the girls both had oatmeal which Emily said was pretty horrible and it was really it. Madison liked it but it was a tiny bit of oatmeal it was like half of a not even a half a cup maybe like a third cup of, oat, of oatmeal would you say and the bill came to $50 <laughs> Madison got the $13 blue milk and we each got the chai tea well the Mugan tea yeah. which is basically cold chai tea and that was $14 for the two so it's expensive, you can't sit. You can sit, only like 10% of the people can sit. There's a few booths, but it's mostly standing room only. So it's crowded, you're standing, it's expensive. And I don't know that I would do it again. So <laughs> that's just my opinion. We're grabbing some lunch here at Banana Cabanas. I love the vibe here, it's so cute. And this view isn't too shabby either. Here's the menu for a banana cabana, and I think I'm going to try the pink guava colada. And then for lunch, we're just gonna get something very basic. I think me and Emily are actually gonna split a cheeseburger because we have dinner really early tonight. And that's the menu. Here's the view. It's really, really cute here. Did you have fun so far today, Madison? Yes. Yeah? We were up at 5 a.m. <laughs> Tell you guys something about Oga's Cantina. So they gave us like a small portion. They gave me a small portion of like the oatmeal, and then while I was eating mine, one of the people came over and threw it in the garbage. Yeah, Madison didn't even get to finish her oatmeal. The guy took it away and threw it out. We're not really fans of Oga's, unfortunately. Maybe if I went in the evening with an adult and had some adult beverages, it would have been a whole different experience. <laughs> so here is the pink guava. Looks good, yeah. Okay, this is really good. And apparently they use like this barrel rum that's only on Disney property or Disney yeah. makes it. And there's some legit filming going on in here. I don't know what's happening. They're setting up all kinds of camera equipment. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. I think we're on like, what would you do? Show? You, th you think we're on a show? What would you do? Yeah. <laughs> this guy is literally begging like a dog. Look at him. 
He wants our food. He's just sitting here and screaming at us. <laughs> and I had the cheeseburger. <laughs> Forgot to show it. It was really good though. So since it's way too cold to actually go swimming in the pool, we're going to go to the hot tub, just me and Madison, taking a little break from our chaos this week. <laughs> it's kind of nice to go back to the hotel and have a little bit of a break. So we're going to go soak in the hot tub for a little while, and then we'll shower and head back to Hollywood Studios because tonight we have reservations at 50's Prime Time, which is one of our favorite restaurants, <laughs> Madison's favorite by far. And we have our Slinky Dog Dash Fast Pass tonight as well, and a Fast Pass for Fantasmic, which is one of my favorite nighttime shows. We're having dinner at the 50s prime time. We actually have a, a table with a TV this time, which is super cute. And the theming of this restaurant is all 50s. So I'm not sure what I'm ordering yet, but here's the menu. They're well known for their peanut butter and jelly milkshake, which is supposedly really good. And they always throw the silverware at you and, and make you set the table on your own over here at the 50s prime time. <laughs> So for dinner I got the meatloaf with mashed potatoes and green beans and then I have the grapefruit beer I'm going to try and Emily has the fried chicken with mashed potatoes and corn and Madison from the kids nut free menu has chicken fingers, fruit and corn. Everything looks good. I know I love the meatloaf here even though it's my second meatloaf dinner this week. Madison got the strawberry milkshake and Emily got the famous peanut butter and jelly milkshake. So good. I tried it so I can let you guys know the peanut butter and jelly milkshake is excellent. What are we doing Madison? Are you excited to meet Chewbacca? I'm excited to meet him. We really didn't get much of a chance to talk to him before. He was busy working. <laughs> Hi, Chewy. So we just met Chewbacca, and now Madison's gonna meet BB. <laughs> Did you like Chewbacca? Yeah. He was so soft and cuddly and snuggly. Love Chewbacca. Are you with the light side or the dark side? Light. The light side. There's BB. Right this way. All the way to the right. Come on. Okay. Hi BB-8. For $25,000, you can get your own R2-D2. More than my car. $25,000. <laughs> Right, guys so it is the end of a very eventful day we were up at 5 a.m. we did it all we really got everything done in Hollywood Studios that we wanted to do from Slinky Dog Dash to the Millennium Falcon we did Rise of the Resistance we literally did every single thing we wanted to do and then some and we ended the night with Fantasmic which is all thanks to Emily, all thanks to Emily. Emily was really good <laughs> in navigating and helping us get around and get things done so it was a great day. We even came back to the hotel to have lunch at Banana Cabana, which I really wanted to try out. Had a little rest time, a little hot tub time, so it worked out well. I feel like today's vlog is going to be incredibly long because <laughs> I had so much that I wanted to share. But now we're gonna go to bed because we decided to do Magic Kingdom tomorrow instead of Hollywood Studios because we got so much done today. Tomorrow's our last day. Sadly, we're going to be headed home 
and we need to get some sleep because the Magic Kingdom opens at 8 tomorrow, so <laughs> we have to get up and out early once again. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the morning. Good night.